So today is October 16th, 2013. Um, I'm updating my Fat Girl blog. I have noticed that there's been a lot of views on it, which, I mean, a lot, like tons more than I thought I would get. Um, and I feel kind of bad because I haven't been recording videos and updating you on what's going on. So be because I'm getting people watching those videos, I'm going to go ahead and try to stick with making the videos. The reason why I wasn't was because I wasn't making progress. I thought I, especially after having the sleep surgery, I thought there would be, um, I thought I'd be losing weight a lot more rapidly than I am. Um, I know it's not some magic surgery, but I thought, you know, things would be going a lot better with what they are. So I wanted to, or I thought about reviewing my old videos to see what I already talked about. Um, but I know I was like really, really depressed back then. And I still do have some depression, but it's not nearly as bad. It's more controlled now. But I'm too scared, honestly, to watch those videos and see what types of things I was talking about and how personal I got. So um, I'm leaving them up there because some friends of mine told me that they're okay. But I'm just going to have to take their word for it because I'm too scared to look at them. Um, so hopefully this time with this video, I'll have some better progress for you. Um, I wasn't making like any progress before. I was still having a lot of trouble with wanting to overeat as well as trouble with exercising. Um, I, I got okay with exercise for a while, but in last May, um, late May, I fell down the stairs and broke my foot and had two ankle sprains, a regular ankle sprain and a high ankle, ankle sprain. I don't really know the difference of that, but I've been going to physical therapy for the last few months and I'm still having a really hard time with making the pain go away. In fact, it started to get better for a little bit at first and then it's been getting worse now. So my physical therapist is having me see the podiatrist I saw originally for the broken bone. The bone's healed but the ankle still hurts and it feels like there's a ligament pinching um, that causes a lot of pain. Even on the recumbent bike at the gym with no resistance, there's pain. Walking, it's pain. So, um, so basically I haven't been working out because of that because I just, I, I don't want to deal with the pain. I have pain medicine but of course it doesn't work and I'm afraid to ask for something that will, or something that's stronger. Because I'm afraid I'm going to come across as like a drug addict, especially since I'm already on um, pills for insomnia and depression. So I don't want to come off, come off as a drug addict asking for stronger pain medicine. Um, I just got off of anxiety medication which they didn't want me on because I was having to take a larger dose in order to get relief. Um, once again, I'm nervous. I was afraid, you know, did they think I'm a drug addict? Is that why they took me off of it? I don't know. Anyways, um, what's been going on, uh, as far as medications, is I was told that four of the medications I'm on are, have a side effect of weight gain. And I've noticed, um, sleeping medicines, they tend to make me want to eat in my sleep or I'll be half awake, you know, half out of it and I'll just get the munchies and I'll munch like crazy and sometimes I would log the calories and other times I wouldn't even remember it and I'd wake up and there'd be empty boxes or wrappers, or wrappers everywhere. So that was really frustrating but it's like everything else I tried for sleep wasn't working and I finally told them I can't keep gaining weight, I can't keep eating, this is frustrating. They told me that, you know, I told them that, um, the sleep surgery removes the ghrelin hormone, which is what causes your appetite. And I thought, why am I still getting hungry if I had the hormone removed? And my primary physician, who prescribes the insomnia medicine, told me that even without that hormone, if I'm on these pills that cause hunger and appetite, then I'm going to have hunger, even without the hormone. So, um... So that was really deterring. Like I just, I felt like giving up. I felt like it doesn't matter what I eat because I'm not gonna lose weight. You know, I started. I started off my heaviest at 328. I went down to the 260s, and then 270s, and then 278 was the highest, and that I was starting to get to within the last couple weeks. And I thought, you know, it's pointless. It's just, it's never gonna happen for me. I was, I've always been an overweight person, except for like two years in high school. I was like super, super skinny, and I'm like, you know, those were the good years, and they're behind me, and now I'm just gonna be fat forever. I need to, need to just accept it, because there's no way I cannot take sleeping pills. Um, people say, you know, you work out really hard and stay up for a couple days, and then yeah, you'll be able to go to sleep. No, if you're a true insomniac, it works. Melatonin, stuff like that, does not work. That's if you have an occasional sleepless night. If you have true insomnia, 
none of that stuff works and it drives me crazy because people don't understand that and I'm like you just you cannot sleep it is impossible you can be awake for two weeks straight so tired so groggy it's not that you're you know can't get tired you are tired you just can't fall asleep so um, anyways they're, they're finally weaning me off one of the pills one of the insomnia pills and put me on something else and I was really skeptical at first because other things I tried didn't work and they tried almost everything in the book I thought they had tried everything but apparently there was one they didn't and the first night you know it I couldn't sleep and I thought throw this prescription away it's not gonna work they told me give it a few more nights sure enough in combination with a much smaller dose of the weight gain pill I'm able to fall asleep and wake up feeling more refreshed and not so groggy which is really nice because when you wake up groggy from strong sleeping meds the last thing you won't even think about is cooking because you're too tired to cook you just want to get something fast or let alone you know going to the gym or even walking around at home so it's nice that I'm going off of that and starting this other pill because I'm not I'm not munching in my sleep as much or when I'm trying to go to bed and I'm more awake during the day so I've got some more energy although it's still not quite you know enough to really be like yeah I want to go to the gym which if I went anyways I would just be in pain and mess up my ankle more so so I notice that nights when I do have trouble sleeping, um, even with the new medicine, and I take a little bit of extra of the original weight gain medicine, then I notice that I do tend to have more hunger and munchiness um, even the next day, and I'll gain a pound or two. And then if I go back to being able to take a smaller dosage of it, then it's like I have absolutely no hunger at all. So. It's definitely the medicine that is making me have this hunger, especially that one more so than the others. And I really don't want to say exactly what pills they are because, you know, pills are used for different purposes. And the sleeping pill that I'm used is mainly used for another condition, a psychiatric condition, and I don't want people saying, oh, she's got this or this, because I don't. It's just for insomnia. One thing I started recently was making makeup tutorial videos. I have a really crappy web camera, and I'm not... I, I don't feel I'm talented enough to do these videos, but I've had friends that have been asking me forever, and then when one of my aunts asked me to make a video tutorial for her for some Halloween makeup ideas, then I went ahead and did it, and reviewing the videos, editing out, you know, all the times you burp, sleeve patience, oh my gosh, you burp all the time, even if you excel air before you swallow, you're always burping. So I'm constantly, like, 50% of what I edit out is me burping. And I'm looking at myself thinking, gosh, I'm so fat. And all these other girls with makeup tutorial, you know, channels on YouTube, they're skinny, they're gorgeous, they've got these nice fancy backgrounds. I'm in my little sister's room, so that's the background is her room, plus some storage stuff because she doesn't live here anymore. And my cheapo $40 camera. So I'm like, why am I making these videos? I look so stupid. But aside from kind of getting stressed out about how unprofessional it looks at the same time I had a lot of fun doing it and it's helped control some of my depression and anxiety I am on antidepressants although we did quit taking anxiety medication like I said earlier and whenever I start to get stressed out recording videos has really helped distract me it's also helped keep me from eating like I've went all weekend with hardly eating anything because I was so busy working on this Halloween stuff so that's been really helpful like Right now I've got a sandwich sitting next to me that's been here for like the past two and a half hours. It is not even near hot anymore um, just because I was working on some makeup videos. And I wanted to go ahead and start this weight loss video again as well. So I found that really helpful so I decided you know whether or not my videos look decent and you know whether people leave comments saying that you know you look fat, why are you doing videos? well whatever it's helped me not eat so maybe you will be able to start seeing results with me eating less by recording videos and taking less of those weight gain pills maybe you will start to finally see me lose some weight on these um, uh, fat blogs um, so what I want to do is just add 
kind of record things throughout a two week period at a time and each video or webisode I upload will be a two week period. I need to try to not want to weigh myself every week or every day. That was a bad habit. So I'm going to try to only weigh in once every two weeks and I'll do that on camera. And what I'll also do is follow along on um, what recipes I've been trying, what I like, um, munchy things I'm finding that are better to snack on. Um, obviously we know snacking on produce is great but what about you know crackers and stuff like I love goldfish crackers and my nutritionist told me I need to have crackers with at least three to four grams of fiber per serving. Well I don't really care for triscuits and that really weedy stuff. So I'm going to kind of look around for other kind of crunchy type of um, snacks other than celery that I like. Um, I'm also going to follow along on my injury with my foot and you'll see hopefully that it'll get better. I see my podiatrist tomorrow morning and she's going to decide whether or not she wants to give me a cortisone shot or get an MRI and see what is going on, why we're not getting any better with it. So um, the rest of this video is just going to be little excerpts that I'm going to record over the next two weeks. And it is almost 9 o'clock at night and I prefer to do my weigh-ins in the morning so I will show my weigh-in here in a couple seconds and it will really be tomorrow morning. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. So today was another really hard day. Um, I woke up around 12.30ish in the afternoon. Um, yeah, it was kind of frustrating but... I ran out of the good sleeping pills and all I had left was the weight gain sleep sleeping pills and I'm not going, uh, insurance isn't going to refill it until for a few days and I'm not going through midterms without any sleep because it's already hard enough, you know, studying all this and kind of cramming some stuff in, but then on top of that not having any sleep, that is just going to be a really, really bad test result. So um, I'm taking the weight gain sleeping pills to sleep until the insurance will let me refill my other stuff. But on top of the weight gain, um, those pills make you really groggy, so it's really hard for me to get up even though I went to bed around midnight-ish. I basically slept for 12 hours. And I ate in my sleep too. I barely, barely remember eating some stuff. Um, I wasn't even sure if it really happened or if I was just worried that it did. And then I looked and sure enough there's two empty bags of food, which were supposed to be my snacks for like the next couple of weeks. So that's frustrating, but um, so yeah, I took my before body shot and I am in a bikini, but only because um, I'm afraid if I did it in clothes, then you wouldn't see just how bad I look. And I'm really nervous about posting this on the internet, especially because I've got family watching and I'm sure some of them will think, you know, oh my gosh, you're in a bikini on, on the internet and you're too big for it, yeah, it's, it's way too small bikini, it's just for the purpose of someday I hope to fit this. But anyways, um, so yeah, and I know there's going to be pervs out there that are going to make comments about it, but pervs are going to make comments even if you're fully dressed, so I figure, whatever. It's my choice, and a lot of people do it in sports bra and underwear, and I felt, you know, even though underwear is similar to bikini, I guess it kind of depends on what kind of underwear you're wearing, if it's like lacy or not, but since family knows about my YouTube site, I figured it'd be a, they'd be more comfortable if I, I mean, they're probably not comfortable at all with me doing a bikini, but probably more so than if I did underwear, even if the underwear looked like, like a bikini. And, you know, since I have the bikini, I went ahead and used that. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry, but at the same time, I don't want to apologize because this is mostly for me so I can look back at it and... I may make that I may make the bikini a separate video and make it private and just put one with a tank top, a tight fitting tank top as my body shot in this, but then I think some people might want to see my stomach and all that more, so I don't know, I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do yet, so I guess you'll have to just stay tuned and see what I pick. Um so yeah, I'm still having a lot of foot pain. My pro KT tape came today. Um this is the regular cotton KT tape and it's really, I mean both tapes are really stretchy, especially this one though, but um, the pro version is supposed to um, 
work better and last longer, be waterproof, and um, since I wasn't getting enough support with the regular tape, we went ahead and ordered the Pro Tape and it came in the mail today and I taped my foot up. Um, I do feel more support, but it's definitely not taking away the pain. Um, but it is, for some reason, I don't know how it works, because it's, it's just like this fabric tape, like a band-aid. But for some reason, it makes it so I can, it's easier for me to walk normally on my foot as opposed to on the outer side of it. So, that is my foot update, and I'm trying really hard not to weigh in. I really, really want to see the scale and see what damage I did last night. But I've told myself once every two weeks, and I need to stick with that. I may post this video um, early just because it's getting kind of lengthy, but still only do the, the weigh in once every two weeks. So I don't want I don't want to have you know an hour long video at the end of two weeks since I'm doing a lot of like you know talking catching up on what happened in the past and such as that. So so let's see what's today October twenty third Wednesday. Um, I was supposed to get an MRI today for my foot and my ankle, but of course I could not wake up. The schedule is so early in the morning and I just finished midterms, so I'm like ugh, exhausted. Um, on top of that, I ran out of the good sleeping pills and was only stuck left with the really crappy sleeping pills, the one that make you gain weight and make you super groggy. So I was having to take those the past few days and I just got the good ones refilled. Um, so yeah, I'm sure damage was done on the scale, but like I said, I'm not going to weigh in until the two week mark and it's like torturing me because it's like I want to see what damage was done. I know something happened and it's just, it's stressing me out and it's not good to stress. Some people gain weight from stress, some people lose weight from stress. I've got family members who lose weight. Unfortunately, I guess I gain. I mean, I don't really know how stress can really make a difference to be honest. I know there's like cortisol or whatever it is, but I think it's mostly a matter of how you handle stress and I tend to eat and I tend to eat because the pill I'm that weight gain pill so I'm just like anyways um another thing I wanted to talk to you about today was um some like snack things I got now they were full bags but like I said I was on that bad pill and pretty much ate them all in my sleep so yeah so this is the first one um the bag kind of got cut in half, <laughs> trying to get to the bottom of it, hold the pieces together so you can see. It's Michael Season's um, Baked um, Cheese Puffs, kind of the bag looks like this. And I like these because they're baked and I think they taste better. Like my mom bought Cheeto Cheese Puffs for a while and I'm like, no, 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 we got to get the baked ones so there's less calories, they're not greasy and it's like you can tell a difference. Like. This Cheetos ones are really greasy and other brands are just, you can feel the grease and stuff. And this one isn't like that and it has better flavor. It just makes a huge difference. It kind of is a, like a buttery flavor without the grease. Anyways, um, so the serving sizes are huge. One and a half cups. I mean, that's a big snack. So, and especially if you can cut it in half and just add some fruit to the side or some veggies, then it's like perfect. But anyways, for one and a half cups, you get 130 calories, um, 20 carbs, so it's a little carb heavy, but like I said, try cutting it in half. And of course, it's only two grams of protein. There's nothing significant there, no significant fiber, no significant sugar. But I just like the fact that um, it's low calorie and you, for a massive serving. And the carbs would be better too if you cut the serving in half and combine it you know, with something else. So that is a good snack that I like. Um, the other one is, I don't know, some days I like this, some days I don't. It only comes in this like massive bag. It's by Earth Balance. It's vegan aged white cheddar popcorn. The bag looks like this. Try to get the glare off of it. There you go. So and it's a massive bag. And yeah. It's it's almost like plain popcorn. The taste to it is really they don't go overboard on it at all so it's not like overboard cheesy but it does have enough to give it flavor and I like it so most days anyways there's some days when I just don't care for it but a serving size is two and three quarter cups so almost three cups and that another thing that's just like crazy high um, serving for a small amount of calories calories is only 150 for nearly three freaking cups 
Um, of course, no significant sugar or protein. Carbs are 12, so carbs are like almost half of what the other one was, and you get even more for a serving. And there's three grams of fiber, which isn't great, but you know, hey, it's fiber. So, um, yeah. And that's great, especially for people who are who are vegans, and they're looking for vegan type foods, and they can be hard to come by. I am not vegan. I think it'd be awesome to live that lifestyle. However, I just can't give up certain things. Like I cut back significantly on red meat, um, and to me that was huge. I know it has nothing to do with being a vegetarian or anything like that, but just trying to eat healthier and live a healthier life, I think you should cut back on um, certain types of meat, and I did that with red meat and I replace a lot of you know red meat type things with turkey and pork chops and chicken like you know the white meats and they taste better and I think like I did have a bite of some red meat like hamburger meat and I was just like oh I don't like this I prefer I mean it it was the really um it was like 98% fat free or whatever hamburger meat and I just I don't like it I prefer the turkey and that white meat so it's like you really get used to the better stuff for you. Anyways, those are two of my favorite snacks. Something else that I've really been into lately that is not a good snack is goldfish crackers. I love goldfish crackers. And my nutritionist wants me to find a good cracker that has at least three to four grams of fiber in it so I'm not, you know, completely eating, you know, for nothing. But of course, none of them... Um, no crackers with that amount of fiber taste good in my opinion. I mean wheat thins are okay for like one or two but otherwise I don't really care for them and I definitely don't like Tris yet, those really weedy things. They make um, whole grain goldfish and I got some tried them and I really don't like the aftertaste of them. Like at first I thought oh my gosh they taste exactly the same as the regular kind but no the aftertaste I did not care for. Um, I found some um, crackers that I want to try. I can't think of the brand name of them, but I've looked all around locally and I cannot find any. And the only option I seem to have if I want to try them is to buy them in bulk online. So why would I want to buy them in bulk if I don't even know for sure if I'm going to like it? So I don't know. I may come to that. I don't know. So anyways, that is what's been going on with me. Today for breakfast, I had what we call a mummy egg or not mummy egg a mommy egg and that's something my sisters and I have called ever since we were little because that was the egg my mom always made us for breakfast it's a piece of toast with um I can't think of what it's called was it like an egg over ease or something like that when the whites are cooked but the yellow isn't the yolk isn't but the whites are cooked so I did that and um I'm not really good at flipping the eggs so it kind of got folded in half but I might put a picture of it on there I'm thinking I'm gonna like make a little video of some like breakfast foods and lunch foods and a separate one for dinner foods of just some like ideas like um anyways you put the egg on your toast and you eat that and then the other half of the toast that the egg didn't cover use that to kind of dip scoop up the yolk i know egg yolks aren't great for you they're fat but i mean it's one freaking egg and it's yeah you're not eating a lot of fat for the rest of the day so i don't see why it'd be a big deal so that is pretty much the only update I have for you now. So an update on the MRI, um, it's been rescheduled for this Wednesday, October 30th, I believe. Um, so we'll finally get that looked into. Um, I'm still, it's October 26th today, and I'm still relying on the bad sleeping pill. Um, I did get the new one filled, or the good one filled, but it's like, it's almost like now I have to wean myself down again. Luckily, not from as high of a dosage as I was before, but now it's like I can't sleep without it. So I need to work on weaning myself off of it again. Um, see, tomorrow I don't really have plans for anything. So other than homework, I don't have not I don't have any appointments to keep. So I guess it's not a big deal if I have a hard time sleeping tonight. So I'm going to try um, going with a smaller dosage of the bad stuff. If not, completely nixing it and then ended up just taking an extra pill of the good one. So we'll see what happens there. Um, this video is starting to get kind of long. So I think I'm going to go ahead and post it. And then for the next four days or whatever till the end of my two weeks, I'll post, you know, part two or something. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, um please leave them below and I will do my best to answer them. Someone did send me a message asking for me to tell them more about my experience with the sleeve. Um, 
so I'm going to talk about the surgery itself in a little more depth. So if you have any questions about that, let me know and I'll um, do another video answering everyone's questions that I don't get answered in this video that I'm getting ready to make for it. So thank you for watching. I hope I didn't bore you too much.